Oh, hey, how y'all doing? Well, I just got off work and I guess everybody's hungry. Time to get dinner started so I can feed everybody. You know, it sure is cloudy out there. I'm sensing a chance of meatballs today. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I got my duds on. So, today's menu is going to be cloudy with a chance of meatballs. We're going to be starting with parsley, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of oregano. My meatballs, I like to use dehydrated onions, about four ounces, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of black pepper, one liquid ounce of Worcestershire sauce, Try saying that somewhere else besides the salad. One tablespoon of salt, two and a half ounces of grated Parmesan cheese, four and a half ounces of Italian style breadcrumbs, three eggs, and for my meatballs, we we're starting with five pounds of ground beef. Okay, so for my meatballs, we're going to Take fresh parsley and we're going to mix it up. Folks, you're not as fast as me when it comes to the mic, don't worry. That should be about three ounces. So now we're going to take our five pounds of ground beef. I have a lot of people I feed, so. If you want to make half that much, I completely understand. We like leftovers. That is my ground beef mixture with parsley. Now we're putting in the dried onions. Now we're going to add the salt. As you all know, I'm a professional vampire hunter on the side. Two tablespoons of garlic powder one tablespoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of oregano, one ounce of liquid, difficult how you say it, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. I'm a cook, not an English major. Four and a half ounces of breadcrumbs. Two and a half ounces of Parmesan. Okay. Lastly, three eggs. You make breakfast for a couple years for a few thousand people, you get it cracking eggs. But, you might make mistakes. Okay, hands washed, hands in the mix. And this is where a lot of people cringe. You want to gently toss it. You don't want mush. <coughs> Fire him. You're not fooling anyone, you know, you'll be stone dead in a moment. I think I'll go for a walk. Can we do something about him? Right, here's your knife ones. Thanks, sir. Must be a king. How can he tell? He does have shit all over him. Now remember, folks, don't let your meat loaf. Never let your meat loaf. Because I would do anything for love. I won't do that. Okay, if y'all notice that I'm not just really tearing into this, I'm just kind of folding it and mixing it, making sure it all goes together. I don't want to overwork it. At the same time, I'm looking for consistency. Right now, you notice right here, a lot of my spices are just bunched up. And over here, it looks kind of plain. 
just take your hands and break it up. Now will be a good time to wash your hands and turn your oven on. Okay, folks, if you like me, you're ready to move on to start pouring the meatballs, and I forgot an ingredient. Which is okay, we haven't moved on, but in the kitchen, mistakes happen. It's okay, even if I left this out, it wouldn't really alter the flavor that much, but I like the smoke flavor of it, so I'm gonna make sure that it gets in here. Okay, now it's time to form the meatballs. So, I want about two ounces of meatballs. I'm all consistent. Give them a good spin, I'm not looking for perfection. Line them up in your pork pan. Okay, folks, while I'm in the middle of making these meatballs, something I could talk to you about real quick. Earlier when I was saying ounces, one full fluid ounce, ounces for my breadcrumbs, get you a small scale. I got mine at Walmart. Didn't cost a whole lot. I think $6 is what I paid for mine. Could be wrong. Just get you a small one. Because things like this, sometimes the recipe doesn't say a cup or a half a cup. It just says ounces. So it's always a good piece of equipment to have on hand. Okay, as you can see, I've got all my meatballs ready to go. This is about half of my mix. I'm gonna save the other half for a different dish. I'll show you tomorrow. Let's go ahead and get these in the oven, 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. And my oven's possessed. Also, since the meatballs are in the oven, go ahead and get your water started for your pasta and get your sauce going. I've got three jars, roughly 48 ounces of pasta sauce because, as I said, we eat a lot in this house and got an idea that I really want to try tomorrow. So, let's get going. Why don't you make your own pasta sauce? Uh, because I work and not in the kitchen. I've got 20 minutes for my meatballs to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and make an appetizer real quick. Show what I'm going to do. So we're going to start with bread. So I've got a few cloves of garlic here. I'm going to go ahead and do what we did last time. Take a knife. Smash that. No, folks, vampires don't sparkle. I don't care what the movies tell you. We're just gonna mince this. Don't even really have to mince it. A rough chop would be good for what I'm getting ready to do. But, three cloves of garlic. So now, we're going to take our butter and saucepan and get it going. While the sauce is heating up, it should be uh, simmering right now. This is old bread from uh, department store. So we're going to put these right here. Now that we have our butter going, we're going to put in our three cloves of garlic. And as a confusing measurement for the vision, we're going to use a pinch of salt. Just going to let that simmer for a little while. Sauce is going nicely. Yes, that is a lot of sauce. Again, use whatever pasta sauce you like. 
Cooking, as I stated, is an art form. So do what makes you happy. If you go off the rails a little bit on a recipe, good. You might improve it. Worst that's going to happen, it's not going to turn out the way you like it. Baking is science. Cooking is an art form. Okay, so now my garlic garlic butter mixture is ready. We're gonna set that right here. Do a little basting. A little basting right here. I guarantee. I know this is Italian, but y'all remember that old Cajun chef? I wish I could remember his name. I'll have to look it up. Editor's note, please find his name for me. That guy was awesome. I guarantee. I'm purposely leaving out the bits of the garlic as much as I can because I know a lot of people just don't want to bite into a big hunk of garlic unless you're my brother. Now I just want a little butter on here. I don't want to make the bread soggy. There's a very specific reason I'm doing this. Okay, I've got everything buttered the way I want it. Now I need just a little bit of my sauce. So I'm going to bring that over and start my appetizer. And let's check my meatballs. Now I have my sauce. A little bit on the bread. If you want, folks, at the end of this, you can even take a couple meatballs, breaking in the quarters, and put your meatballs on here too. Okay, so now, and if you remember, I like to make America great again. I have mozzarella cheese, fresh mozzarella cheese. Anytime you can use fresh cheese, folks, do it. It's got so, so much better of a flavor. these in the oven. So now it's time for the meatballs from the oven. It's been roughly 20 minutes. So now, time to get our spaghetti going. Remember folks, when you're cooking spaghetti, if you think you have enough, you got too much. This has been heating up for a while. After boiling, we're taking our meatballs out of the grease. 
I'm sorry, are the original pan so they don't soak in grease. And now we're going to finish them off in the sauce. And once we get this done, we're going to pull our appetizers out of the oven. Okay, so our appetizers are ready. So we still got just a little bit before everything else is ready. This is the part of dinner where everything's taking care of itself. You can actually sit back, relax, maybe have a glass of wine, shot of bourbon, if you're in Kentucky, or check on your kids because I'm pretty sure if they're like mine, they're tearing up the house right now. However, this would be an awesome time to check in with Chef. See what he's doing tonight. All right, Chef. Get the hell out of my kitchen, man. About seven minutes is gone. We're going to give it another minute. And we'll pull this off, put it in the ice bath. Always a good rule to check when you're almost done. If you're good, we we'll get one or two noodles. Pull them off. You can either peel them or do what I do. How did take? Dinner served. This is my version of spaghetti and meatballs. Let's go eat. Hey gang, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you watching. Big thank you to Chef Ken for uh, letting me stop by and disrupt his work night. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, you know, let me know. Send me a message. If you don't like what you see, tell me why you didn't like it. Maybe I can improve on it. I'm always open to suggestions. So, have a good night.